Okay, your objective, of course, is that the CIA operative is being held captive by the insurgent force. Locate that objective, secure it, return it for extraction. Now, here's the wrinkle. There's two of them out there. One is a decoy. So you identify the target with three challenge questions. Question number one is, where are you from? Answer, Los Angeles. Challenge question two, what is your mother's name? Answer, Rose. Challenge question three, what was your first pet? Answer, Basset Hound. All right, give them back to me. Question number one, where are you from? What is your mother's name? Rose. What was your first pet? No, at the XP they did it yet. They had a, a, a whole one of these set up. And they had a zip line, a hundred yard zip line. And they had a, they had a, actually had a, an environment from one of the, the levels in Modern yeah, Warfare yeah, 3. Yeah. And they, um, what else? It's great. It's, it's pretty great. They had a game room. Let's go behind this way before you get shot. Yeah, I heard they had like a... Oh, what's a challenge coin, coin again? Well, a challenge coin... Woods out. It's like a tradition. Uh, uh, yeah, Chris, like, um, yeah, you yeah, usually get it from like right VIPs now. or from... Fortunately, like, I'm the one like in charge. Reward, so. like something or, like, uh, like, uh, when, got, when you go to other, like a bar or something, because everyone at, usually uh, has coins. Whoever like puts their coin on the table and like whoever doesn't have one pays all the things. Ah, that's the tradition. So I need to carry my challenge coins at all times. When you're at the bar, you're like, dude, and the guy who doesn't have the coin. That's, you know, so this would be a challenge coin? Yeah. I, have, I have a lot of these. Do you have a challenge coin? Yeah, yeah. Run, run a looping video. I mean, when I do events, I usually, I, I forgot to bring it today. I wish I thought about that. I usually run two screens showing, it's sent into the, the local economy. Like most of the like guy, I lived in Belgium for, I played hockey in Belgium, and there's bases all around. And you know there is this. They they really the young people are really yeah, shitty about having American forces yeah, there. But 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 the but the people who own businesses and they they, they love the American because like they that's that's most of their income comes from American servicemen and American contracts. That, you know there's food they got to provide, you know services and that's all that's money to the local economy. So. Our military is basically sponsoring a lot of small villages all over Europe, all over you know Asia. It's like yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a two. Like there's that you know, contrast between the government and the, and the young people, but at, at some point in time, like well, it's just about money. You know, it, it, it's American subsidizing these these other governments with uh, in a good way. What, what's happening here now? You mean, take care of your servicemen. That should be a you don't attach other bills to that. You know what I mean? You, this is one bill, pass it through. You know, don't argue, but that's like, you just, you, you, it's a debt. You got to pay that debt, you know what I mean? It's, people go in there and sacrifice their lives and their, and, and their bodies for that. They, they, it's, it's, it's something you've earned. It should be, uh, it should be honored, you know? Those, yeah, the, the veterans that, you know, of course not been able to, been able to meet you know, through, through this, uh, through the company. You, know, you, you hear about their stories and yeah. um, the things they've had to give up and it's, what, 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 how, how, how can we not honor? But that, you know, it, 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 you know I, I, I get exposed to a lot of these, you know, the conventions and events and things, and I meet a lot of, you know, active military personnel. And, and except for Wong, every one of them is just like, like they're really impressive young men. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> He's the only exception. Right. Actual uh, weapon gonna raffle off. Of course, there's this this game. I'm not quite sure what that game is. It's okay. It's not a. It's not this game, of course. But it's it's still under the Activision roof, so I gotta kind of honor it out here. Now me and him, he's shoot. I'm shooting him while he's shooting me. See now we're shooting. This is at the environment we're in. We shoot at each other here. That behind us, that is the uh, this viper this viper field. It's kind of a. Uh, Next, it goes all the way back to that's where the, the uh, it's kind of like a, a munitions depot. There's, there's vehicles like these vehicles here, and it's all you know, it's all ex military. Again, there's an actual game going on right now. Some of these kids are quick, man, these are like little rats running around. Awesome.
And uh, one mission you can't get to unless you actually shoot a dog. Okay, so let's do that. Yeah, this is that wow. kind of stuff going on. So there's all these, they sit there and they throw, they, they pitch all these ideas to just make the game that much more, you know. It, it, again, you're gonna do stuff here. Oh, but you wanna, but the, the trick is you want to, you want to, don't kill Mason, you know, wing him. Hey, I thought don't, I I, yeah, I know. Back that's, over that's his head, I'm like. Has Woods ever given you bad intel? So shut the fuck up and listen, okay? <laughs> Mason, you want to, you want to, don't kill Mason, wing him, all right? Get, save karma and don't kill Menendez at the end. Just trust that, okay? Just trust that. As hard as it seems, do those three things and you're gonna get the end, you have the preferable ending. My preferable ending. All right. Okay. The, path, the wheelchair. The path that. Well, that, that happens anyway. It happens anyway. That's yeah. a, that's the end of credits. But um, the thing is, no. I mean, I, it's, it's like, yeah. It's my preferable ending. That's all. And the the, the path you're on right now, it's just it's gonna so it's gonna suck for me. Yeah. So. You know. That's what I'm thinking because everybody close to me is dying. Harper got jacked up. Yeah, you Alex just. Alex died by my hand, and then uh, Hudson died. No, Alex didn't. Die. Uh, no, yeah, Alex died. Yeah, I shot Alex in the head. And David, I think David can be smoked dog too. I think. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's I don't know how it goes. I, I use shoot and then the game ends. <laughs> <laughs> so, simple as that. You shoot him, game ends. You know, what else? What else? Is this? It's not more complicated than that. Like, what are you, crazy old man? Pretty. Yeah. Thing. It's, it's beautiful. Visually. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, right? It's, yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I watch for hours on end. I just because yeah. it's just, and I know it's in the game too. I just watch it. It's just it's magnificent. Well, I play with my daughter all the time at Black Ops, right? But this one, I just sat down. I just said, I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, just, you know, it's, 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 it's the great thing about what my job is. I get to do really crazy shit. You know, we have a new tie train with a ranger, you know, a ranger unit going out for, for, on deployment. They just stuck me in. So I get to do all the cool stuff without doing all the work. Without, without like, yeah. Without having to clean without anything. Without, without having to clean the, like, the latrine or something. Well, I, I play dumb too. I have some weapons training. So when we went to the range, I was like, so they loaded my mags for me and stuff. And I'm pretty good, right? So I pop out and go, fuck you, you're your own mags from now on. You know. But it was, it was great, man. They were, uh, I get to do a lot of, I worked with, you know, a SEAL team out of San Diego for Transformers. You know, I got to spend a week with that sniper. We took me to the desert and, you know, with the ghillie suit and all that. And I got to jump out of a, out of a black hawk in a low level. Um, Were you, thing. Did you work with Humphreys for Transformers? The guy? Or? Like seven years ago. This is 2007. I just remember. Well, he was the technical advisor on that, I think. So that's what I was uh, SEAL, so I was just This guy. I can't remember his name. I can't remember his name. I mean, they, 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 they didn't have much use for me because there was like they're like right out of rotation, I guess. They were hanging out on, on set, and I'm, I'm an actor, so I'm like, I said, well, you know, teach me something while I'm standing here. You know, let me, you know, teach me something. After about two days, they actually got to be really cool, and they taught me how to. On the scene, we had to clear Air Force One, and they're just saying, well, that's that's not how you do it. This is like, how, how would you do it? Well. You really want to know? I go, yeah. The whole squad that they they were practicing, you know, because these guys don't waste time. The time is like they, they're always doing stuff. At least from what I experienced. So they spent we spent days just trying to figure out how to clear. How would we clear Air Force One? How would we clear the building? How would you, you know? So I got all this really fun tactical experience just by, you know, being on the set for two weeks with these guys, just you know, having weapons, you know, proper weapons handling, you know, tactical um, weapon control in any situation. It's like it's. You know, it's a little, you know, life information. You're never going to need to know, but, it, you know, it, it's, it's important to me that, you know, I work with a lot of soldiers, so when they see me on a film, I want them to feel like, you know, I'm honoring, you know, it's like not, the gun's not up here or like this. They want it to you know, look like it's something they, they can recognize, you know. Well, you're fucked. So, and here, the old man Woods is telling you stuff, and he's funny. He's, he's a funny old, he's a funny old fart, but he's giving you information you, you need to know. It's like, oh, this is gonna help you understand what to do. You know, like, you know, Menendez is an asshole. You know, like, that means something. It's not just me being bitter. You know, it's like, it, I'm giving you information, but you gotta extrapolate it. You know, and that, I'm not spoon feeding you. So it's, uh. Well, this, this game certainly allows you to use it to go 
of different routes. Yeah. Instead of the one route. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited to see what you, how you end up, man. <laughs> Make sure I jump on my channel and then give me some feedback of what you, how you did. Okay. I'm going to, Sergeant Franco's YouTube channel. There's, there's a whole channel that I have up that. And actually, you'll probably be on it because I'm going to, I'm taping all this, putting it up. But I love hearing how people get different places in the game, you know? So it's like, it's. Damn, I killed you again! I, what the? Don't stop! You know. <laughs> <laughs> one, question had, actually, you know, one question I had regarding this is um, I haven't looked, but in the previous games, you can single player, you can choose a different axe and sub axe to go play on. I didn't see such a feature, it's only this game. Again, I don't play much because I, 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 I never really develop the uh, the skill. The, I, I can barely make them run forward, and you know, and, and there's so many talented people out there playing this game. Man, I go online and, and, and I, I'll get smoked in a couple minutes. I'm so bad at this that I've had conversations with, with Activision. They say, you know, Jim, uh, you know, Woods is supposed to be a badass, and you really, you go, know, you're embarrassing the franchise every time you get on <laughs> line to play. So just don't do it or have somebody good play with your name because I, I just haven't had the time to develop right that tactile skill it takes to be good at this thing so well, i thank you for taking the time with us oh my pleasure, pleasure man. man absolutely and we can't say it enough go ahead and check out the game and yeah make sure you uh, check out uh project warfighter they're uh, here to help as much as they can airsplat.com baby it looks like a sharp there. Yeah, no, this is definitely uh, definitely the workout model of play carrier, so it's kind of oh, real hefty. But uh, yeah, the fake plates and all that shit. Yeah, but still, you carry this. That's because you carry your. <laughs> you gotta have the axe, well, man. Yeah, tomahawk every now and again. You never know what's gonna come in handy. So imagine if you have a situation and you don't have it. You all know, right. what, what's it? What what the harm is carrying a, a tomahawk with you? I mean, really. You never know we're gonna need one, right? Well, it just sucks when you have a situation where you're like, oh, I wish I had this. Time. Don't, don't have it. I agree. I know. Yeah. Preparation, yes. readiness. That's, that's it. That's right. Yeah. Luck is preparation meets opportunity. So are you uh, are you playing that all day? No, no, I can't. Oh really? I can't. But I'd love to. I just it's just um, I can't take an injury. I'm on a job. I totally understand. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, if I twist an ankle, if I take a spill, next thing you know, like, how do you explain that? Well, Sergeant Woods. Sergeant Woods, I'm sorry. Oh, damn, Jet, you messed it up. Sergeant Woods. Up, Jet. I know. Come on, man. You play more video games. Who's this, too? It's a Jet, J E T. Yeah. Did, did I already give you all my cards? You might have. Just give it to me in case. Okay. I, I'm, I'm pretty lame brain with this stuff. Oh, wait, I did. I, I remember I did. But let me just give you another one. Anyway. Double, it's always good to double tap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't. Anytime, you want, anytime you want to play, that's my cell phone number. Call me up. We'll get you some guns. We'll make it happen. It's sooner than, I mean, it just, it's going to be soon because this is just this is too. Once I get clearance, man, this, this is way too much fun. All right. Maybe I'll get a hold of McDonald too, the guy who plays uh, David Mason. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we. we whatever, whatever, yeah, whatever you. Like I said, call me. Whatever you need, I'll make it happen for you. Cool. All right? You need fun. guns, yeah. masks, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Well, we, we, <laughs> we need everything. Okay, all right. You know, but that, that, I would love to do that. It'd be awesome. Yeah, definitely. It'd be awesome. Yeah, we want you to come back and have a good time and play here. Yeah. yeah. So do we. Thank you. They, what happened was they needed a guy. They're testing this new technology called full performance capture. They wanted. And they wanted to get away from stuntmen, so they needed an actor with military training, stunt training. So I happened to work with a guy who knew me from another project. He brought me in, I auditioned for it, and we basically we developed the performance capture technique together, technology. And then they didn't hire me for the work, they actually brought me in to be Frank Barnes, just for the testing of it. And then they just liked me so much they kept me around. So I, I didn't even audition, the, the role was, I had to audition for this role again, because I created this role. And then they, they, and they brought me, then they brought in all the other guys. So they, well, we already got the guy. Why are we auditioning more people? We got the guy. Yeah. So this is kind of how it happened. What's your name, man? Uh, no, I'm not buying one. I'm just, um. I, this, it, it, <laughs> don't listen just, to these idiots. Just, they, 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 they're free. Oh, they're they free. Are? Yeah, don't. Okay. Um, uh, Chris. Can we get a favorite line from the game, Chris? You can't kill me. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a safe bet. <laughs> That and this is nah, baby. <laughs> I, lo I, love, I love that one. That one's amazing. There's a. After this one? Yeah, probably after like a game or two, I'll jump in. There's still a couple more hours of game. Nice.
W. God damn, let's try that again. <laughs> the the Warfighter ringtone will be up hopefully tomorrow night. Yeah. I have to figure out what's gonna be good for it. Yeah, some type of something witty. So it's gonna take a few a few hours to get that together. You see, yeah, it's not witty. Witty is not my thing. All right, boys. Hey man. Pleasure. Pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, reach out, man. If I can help you guys out, need anything from me, you know, you know. Um, I'm James C. Burns, I play Sergeant Frank Woods in Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2. It's time for you to subscribe to Spartan 117GW, baby. Go kick some ass.